Hi, I'm Mark Rand, Senior Application Scientist at AMG, Advanced Microscopy Group. Today we're going to be talking about minimizing photobleaching of your samples using the EVOS FL microscope. Now the EVOS FL microscope is unusual in the market in that it uses LED fluorescence illumination built into the center of its design so that we can maximize our fluorescence excitation and get uh, the maximum signal possible out of that illumination. And the way that it's accomplished is through this little device. It is a what we call a light cube. This light cube has an LED built into it. That LED actually has some collimating optics, excitation filter, a beam splitter, and an emission filter in the back here. Uh, pretty similar to a standard fluorescence cube that you would have for a white light source. But instead, each of these is a separate dedicated fluorescence channel that's used for imaging your sample. Uh, one of the nice things about this light cube is that we can control it electronically. We can turn it on and off instantaneously. We can modulate the intensity of the light that comes out of it and control that in concert with the gain of the camera. So the system is actually designed to minimize photo bleaching for you without you having to do anything at all. I'm going to illustrate how that works and then I'm going to switch over and talk about a little tip that you can do that will help you minimize photo bleaching even further with your samples and get uh, very, very nice results. Here's how EVOS FL minimizes photo bleaching in normal use. When you turn on the light, the image is shown at 10 frames per second and the camera gain is turned up. This gives a slightly noisy image, but it allows you to scan the stage and focus on your cells of interest. So I can move around here, pick an area, focus on it very easily at 10 frames per second. Now if I double click, it's going to center and zoom the image there and we can see this effect in higher detail. You can notice that there's more grain in the image at this magnification. Um, so even though there's that grain, I can focus very nicely. And then when I move over to the capture button, click on capture, the LED intensity increases for the duration of the exposure, which is now longer than 100 milliseconds. And at the same time, the gain of the camera is turned down to reduce the noise. As you can see, the effect is to capture an excellent, low-noise, high-resolution fluorescence image. You don't have to think about it. The microscope just does it for you automatically. So the first way to minimize photo bleaching is just to use the EVOS FL normally. The second way to minimize photo bleaching is to use a simple trick. Clicking on Boost increases the gamma of the display. This doesn't change the image acquisition, just the way the image is shown on screen. With Boost turned on, you can reduce the intensity of the excitation illumination used for finding and focusing on your cells. In this case, I'll reduce the intensity slider from 70% down to 20%. Turning the light back on, you can see that it's using much lower intensity, but you can still see fine details for scanning and focusing on the cells. If I move the stage now and find a different cell, I can locate it here center it and focus on it and still see enough details there to get a good focus. When you're ready to capture an image, turn the light off, turn boost off, and then move the intensity slider back to 70%. Then click capture. You can now repeat this technique and continue to scan and focus using 20% while capturing at 70% illumination power. This is a simple, effective way to absolutely minimize the amount of photo bleaching and phototoxicity in your sample while capturing excellent, high-quality images.